Hi, welcome to Team Equisage. Today we're going to show you how to set up your Pro Set. In your bag, you'll have your saddle blanket. You'll have your Equisage Edge backpack. Pop this on the horse. With the girthing system, clip on this little strap here, pull out of your its first hole. It makes it a lot easier to do up the girth. Slide, slide until it's firm. Doesn't have to be girth tight, but does have to be firm so it doesn't roll around. Your chest strap. Goes around the front, always make sure that you have this on. Next, we have our two batteries. Clip one of the batteries into your back pad. Power on your remote. It goes up in 10 minute increments and you want a 20 minute treatment. So go up to the second time. Start your intensity on low for horses that aren't used to it. And just, you'll go by the look in their eye and how they react. Next, we get our lead. Attach it to your second battery. Get your Equisage hand unit in its tendon boot, run it through your wire, your D-clip, go down to the leg, make sure your rubber cap is sitting on the knee joint. You'll have to have your boot fairly tight so you may need to come back to the top strap and redo that. Set that to the 18 to run in conjunction with 20 minutes on your back pad and just start low and rub their leg when you put it on. We then put on our second boot, exactly the same. You will be able to penetrate all the way through the hoof, through your knee through your shoulder up to your wither. It penetrates through four foot of bone and two foot of tissue. In your equisage process you will get a waist pack which you can use to spot tree areas so you're not attached to your horse. Your battery slips into your waist pack. You attach your hand unit and your handheld slips into its holder next to you. So with our handheld, we can help respiratory issues by running the handheld down the windpipe into the brisket. This will help your thick-winded horses, bleeders, and horses which have colds, just it'll help break up all the mucus in their chest as well. You just need to run the hand pack down the neck for two to three minutes. You can place your handheld right under the jowl here and just hold it there for a couple of minutes. Just be careful not to hit the bony bits. So looking at our shoulders, if you have run your leg boots first, your shoulders will be a lot looser already and a lot easier to work with. What we do is we run it down the shoulder, just five or six strokes. Can loosen all this shoulder area up just by running the handheld down. Okay, to focus on your back region with your hand unit, run it in conjunction with your back pad. 
Just get your flat side, run the hand unit. Over the loins, if you've got an area that's a bit tight, you can just focus on that area. For about five to 10 minutes. To focus on your sacro and lumbar areas, get your rubber cap, make sure your arrow is down, place on your hand unit. Okay, when you're focusing on your sacro area, you get your rubber cap, hold it directly there for two to three minutes. When you're working on bony areas, just remember your rubber cap for bony areas and your soft tissue areas, your hand unit. When putting your back leg boot on, just remember to sit your rubber cap on that joint. Some horses take a bit of time getting used to the back leg boots. If you're worried about putting your hand held in, put a bottle of water in your tendon boot first. It, it'll normally be the weight that the horses don't like, not the therapy. When you're running your hand units on your legs, you can run them diagonally when you first start off for safety, just to get them used to having it on their back legs. <laughs> for stifle problems, you can hold your rubber cap directly on that stifle joint for a few minutes. To do your pole areas, you just hold your rubber cap up on the pole. You can run it down your TMJ jawline. You find a lot of horses actually get quite tight in the pole area and we want to release that tension by using our rubber cap in that area and just running it down your jawline. Horses carry all their tension in their TMJ jawline. So when they're licking and chewing, <laughs> that's them releasing all the tension.